Hello everyone, my name is Alistair Baird and I'm a first year Institute of Mental Health funded PhD student and today I'll be talking to you about my project, The Role of Physical Environment on Aggression in Children with Neurodevelopmental Disorders. So this is a brief project overview. Uh, this project is split into three distinct phases. Phase one is a systematic review and this will be to evaluate the current literature on physical and environmental interventions and the effect and association on aggression in children. We'll also be looking at biological physical proxies of aggression and arousal such as blood pressure, heart rate and skin conductance. Our second phase of the project is a longitudinal data analysis on the MCS study, the Millennium Cohort study, and this will be looking at environmental measures in this study on children's SDQ conduct scores over time and over longitudinal waves. The third stage of this project is an experimental design, and this will be using a newly built physical laboratory called PEARL, and this will allow us to manipulate certain environmental factors and test the association on aggression and arousal in children with intellectual disabilities and neurodevelopmental disorders. The final stage of this project is obviously writing up results for thesis, publication and defence. So this is a brief overview of the environmental domains that we're interested in looking at and that have been identified in the literature. And as you can see here, there's, there's quite a broad array of different environmental domains that we can explore and are interested in exploring during the study. Uh, ethically, we won't be able to examine all of these, um, but these are the kind of broad areas and categories that we were interested in, in examining and looking at during the, during the different stages of the project. So this is a brief overview of the systematic review that is ongoing currently. So we developed with our initial hypothesis development, uh, research question, literature search, development of PICO, uh, data analysis plan and protocol development for PROSPER registration, which is online now. In collaboration with some UCL trained librarians, trained in systematic reviews, we developed our search terms and did our electronic search strategy uh, in grey literature search. And as you can see there, there's, we retrieved 5,851 studies after deduplication. 160 of these articles passed title and abstract screening, and the title and abstracts were co-screened by colleagues in the department for an agreement of 87%. Out of these 168 full-text articles, 100 of these were co-screened by independent reviewers, and these full-text were screened, and there was an agreement of 83%, or a Cohen's K of 0.62, and this resulted in 65 studies being included in the final sample. We are now currently examining these studies, uh, examining for risk of bias and grade evidence summaries um, and to test the heterogeneity between aggression outcomes on these studies and see whether meta-analysis is possible. Uh, if sufficient homogeneity for meta-analysis isn't found and isn't possible, uh, we'll be following SWIM guidelines for um, production and development of narrative synthesis and we'll be following PRISMA and MOOSE guidelines throughout the reporting of the, of the systematic review. And again, this is underway currently. And this is just an overview of the different studies retrieved from the systematic review by environmental domain. So as you can see there, air pollution, green space, uh, music, noise pollution, spatial proximity and temperature and weather effects, they're the larger categories and these are the ones we're exploring to see if we can possibly do meta-analysis on. Phase two of the project is the MCS longitudinal data I mentioned before. Uh, so we began by categorizing a subsample of this, of this large cohort um, as having intellectual delay or intellectual disability. And we devised this measure by taking uh, cognitive scores, several standard deviations below the group mean. And we identified these children as having some cognitive impairment and cognitive delay. And this was broadly based off methods from a recent study by Professor Vaso Tosika et al. Um, during this study, we're going to explore how environmental aspects such as UK ward level green space, um, micron particle emissions, NO2 um, pollution emissions, uh, urbanicity, access to garden and quality of interior homes among other kind of environmental measures, how these have an effect on aggression during children's development and specifically SDQ conduct scores. Uh, obviously very important to control for a confounder, so we'll be doing that with socioeconomic status, sex, maternal depression, etc. And we're going to utilize multiple imputation growth curve modeling to assess the relationship between these variables across development. And these, again, will be used to inform the final stage of the project. Uh, that was a very quick whistleblow tour of uh, my project. Thank you very much for watching. I, this is a very interdisciplinary PhD, so I'd just like to thank my professors from various departments, Professor Angela Hasiotis, Professor Aridi Flory, and Professor Nick Tyler. And a special thanks to Dr. Bridget Candy for assist, uh, help and assistance during the systematic review. Uh, if you have any more questions or just require more information, feel free to email me on the below email address. And thank you very much for your time.